Hey guys, welcome back. Stop talking roll episode 103, your number one jujitsu analysis show on the YouTubes. Uh, today we got an old roll. This is from like a month ago or so, a month and a half ago. We got a uh, Will and Chris, and yeah, they're gonna have some fun. Uh, if you happen to enjoy the episode today, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday, and I'd love to do one of your rounds if you just get in touch with me in the description below it has uh information on my social media platforms and whatnot or just hit me up on youtube and uh we can figure something out and get you on here well that little guard pull i like it i i i like what you're trying to do here which is like you're twerking Chris's knee to the side here. Um, I would consider if you're not doing it, and it kind of looks like you are, but just apply pressure with the shin here and pull his foot back this way. So you kind of have to force Chris to move this way. Um, you're not going to get like a tap or anything, but it kind of forces Chris to move in that direction. And um, he's most likely going to base with this leg. So then you can look to grab it and you can go into De La Hiva or you can work into different guards from there. Chris, nice job stripping that grip. Okay, that pass. So you come around, you have a grip on his lower leg. I would look to either, if you're gonna maintain that grip, I would look to actually lift his leg up in the air. Um, it's gonna be hard to beat a leg with your arm, right? So you could lift it up in the air. So rather than trying to push it out of your way, I would consider like bringing it up in this vicinity, right up here, okay? And then kind of teetering his body this way. Um, you could also pass it off. You probably don't need this. This, If you can control the top side leg when you're going to pass and you're driving it in this direction, this leg is generally going to be stuck on the bottom. I mean, he's going to be able to use it, but it's not going to be an immediate problem. Your immediate thing that you need to deal with is this leg. Almost crit, uh, Will. So instead of the leg being out here, just put the hook in, and you and you take them over this way, and you have that hook sweep. Okay, you have that double over hooks in this situation, um, and you, he's got no base right here, so you just need to put your foot in right there, just kind of like flick him over, and you'll get that sweep. Nice. Try to stay on your side. Um, you could even use that, like you could start shrimping your hips out and applying pressure up and use that to knock Chris over. Chris, what you wanna be doing on top is trying, what I like to do is, is actually bring this hand underneath the body and come to rescue the other hand clamp on it and then you can continue with a pretty powerful body lock pass so what i like to do here yeah is to okay a lot of stuff going on it's good i like to heel toe my foot up in this position and pop my knee out of the knee line here um and you could sit to various positions you can go to to a quarter mount you can go to uh, knee slice on the other side and uh, you can go into leg lock entries you have a lot of options there well you could in this in this half guard you should look to like connect your feet at least stomp them together don't just leave them out in like no man's land make it a closed loop it makes it a little stronger Chris you should be well, any Anytime someone has a knee shield and it's low, you should try to smash it down um, and put their knees together. And then you work the pass from there. Now that he's got a high knee shield, it's not going to be as easy to do. But anytime the knee shield is like at like rib level or lower, you could just look to smash. Nice. 
Very nice. Okay, nice job. How'd you rotate into that? Okay, so we're in half guard. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see. It comes out of frame. But what Will is doing is he's getting him up in the air, and now he's going to attack this side leg over here, right? So he just basically brings the knee to the outside the hip, clamps down, and gets that knee bar. Um, Chris, what you want to do when you start feeling knee bar come in, um, you want to bend your legs and just like an arm bar where you'd, you'd rescue it with a rear naked choke grip, you want to do the same thing with your legs with a triangle grip uh, or with a triangle. Okay. Um, you have to watch for a toe hold. So those go, uh, knee bar and toe hold kind of go like, you know, hand in hand. So you got to be careful of that, but that's how you'd come and rescue that knee. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Um, okay, so a couple things. First of all, when you step in, if you're going to step in, you want to jam your shin into their um, thigh here, or I guess their hamstring on the other side, and shove it forward, okay? Um, you want to you wanna make it difficult for them to use that leg, okay? So he's able to just re-pummel and get shin to shin, which is not good. Um, the next thing is if you're going to go for that uh, rolling Kimura, take a hand, place it here, and push him down. Either he falls or he bases. If he bases, you have the rolling Kimura, which you go for here. And keep your hand right in here. But nice job. Okay, reset with the wall. I'll, I'll, I'll let that go because the wall's there. If you have an opportunity to clear this knee, you should take it. Nice. So that happened. You clear through. Yeah, you gotta you gotta punch that down. So if you put your hand like right here, so so as you're coming through, as you're coming through, oh good, we'll switch to it preemptively. That's smart. Nice job, Will. Um, if you can get your hand through to here preemptively, when he goes to roll you in this way, Chris, um, you could just base off or like kind of like drive your forearm across his face and make it difficult for him to get around. Nice pass, Will. So you, Chris, you'd be turning. Okay, yeah. Reset. Stars choke. Yep, and Jermel special to the Kamara. Beautiful. Those two moves go hand in hand. Um, although Chris knows them very well, so you got to hit that quick if you're going to try. So Chris has that underhook. He goes to sit up. Will throws that arm in for the Dars choke. Um, unfortunately, we can't see what's ha exactly happening, but something's stopping him, and he makes the decision to switch to attacking the Kamara, which is good. But um, if you're going to attack the core, Kamara will, you have to either sit on his head or if you want to attack this arm bar here, y you got to bring this leg up. Either way, you got to be pinching his body. If you don't pinch his body, Chris is going to do exactly what he did. He's, he's able to move, all right? So there should be no, like this space shouldn't exist. And this space shouldn't exist, okay? That that should be closed down on both sides. So look how much room he has to turn. He can bring it, Chris can bring his shoulder down this way and his uh, shoulder up this way and rotate, which is exactly what he does, right? He turns to face you and is able to push you off. Nice, Will. Good pass. There's a little misdirection there. Don't get too high up. 
Good. So if I if somebody switches to the arm bar, what I like to do is get this top arm underneath the leg. So as they sit back, I can lift. So I do a rear naked choke grip and I'll just send this hand through. Okay, so this this elbow would be protecting my hand from, from getting extended. And this arm would be underneath ready to lift as they sit back. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah. That's now it's very difficult. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice job, Chris. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Damn, we've got some good matches going on right now. Eddie and Dan. I saw Q and Jan before. Well, I love how you're being really disciplined about keeping your elbow knee connection, even though you just lost it right there, but I'm sure that was a lot of pressure. But it still makes it makes it harder. Nice, Chris. Yep. Dig that arm underneath. Beautiful. For competition, guys, I'll just let this play out. Um what Will just did too was to, he turtled off of the pass, so that wouldn't be worth any points. Oh, cool. Nice. Very nice. Nice, Chris. So Chris sees an opportunity. No, it creates the opportunity to get that Kamara in, and he's shoving that hand against his chest. That's what makes Will flop over there. Gets the arm over. Um, I know there's like only seconds left, so I'm assuming you just go for the arm bar. But if there's more time, um, Will, what you could do is keep your back on his leg so it's heavy. And then, Chris, what that would force you to do is actually shoot your leg through this way. And I know you know those chokes. Uh, basically, you can go across his neck or you can wrap in the triangle if he gets the arm stuck. And if he if Will doesn't come to rescue the other arm, you have the Kamara. And I think that's the end of the round. It's going to end in like two seconds. All right. Good round, guys. Thank you. Um, please like, subscribe, share the video if you will, uh, and hit me up if you want me to get you on the channel. All right. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. I lost my mouse. There it is. Bye.